Come on. Okay, don't kill us, don't kill us, don't kill us. Here we go. Here we go. Oh god. Oh god. Get away, get away, get away. Run. Welcome back to the Digital Universe. We are back on our Ark Survival Evolved Let's Play World here for part two of episode number four. Guys, real quick before we start, I do want to apologize. I think I said this uh, in part one, but I just want to reiterate it again. Uh, I am very sorry that we did not get to what we're going to do in this part in last part. Uh, we really did have to come up with these outer defenses to make sure we were safe. Uh, but we're going to be continuing with what I said we were originally going to do. So let's get right into it. Okay, so a couple things, guys, before we get into the action here. Uh, I just want to show you, I did add the Plant Species X, as you can probably already see. Uh, I filled them with all that fertilizer that we had. Uh, and then out here on our porch area, uh, what we did is I just added a couple um, pillars. I don't know if you would have noticed this in the episode, but I just want to let you know. I added some pillars on the outside to make it look nicer. I think it looks a lot better now. Uh, minor detail, no big thing really. Oh, and I think I took a couple um, foundations out from here. I thought it was much better just lining here. It was kind of annoying having them here. Uh, and I wanted to make sure it didn't restrict dino movement in and out. Uh, and also, we got a comment on one of our videos uh, with a suggestion for a name for the Stego here. And guys, one more time, I know I said it uh, in, I think it was episode 2 when we tamed the Stego, or episode 1, I'm not sure. Uh, but early on, basically, I said that when we tame a dino, I'm not going to name him right away unless I have a really good name in mind. Uh, but if you have a good idea for a name, leave it in the comments section. And if it's a good idea, then we will change the name to that. So we are going to be changing the name to... Where is it? Options? Uh, change name. We are going to be naming our Stegosaurus... Steve... The... Steve the Stego. There we go. This is our dino. Say hello to Steve. Can I... Uh... I have no clue where it is. I was gonna wave, but I, I don't even know how to do it, to be honest. Steve the Stego, everybody. This is Steve. Okay. Um... No name for you. Anyway. I think that's about everything that I did off-camera. I've been getting some metal. That's what that is. Uh... Yeah. That looks like everything. So, what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to tame a Pteranodon. We need to take to the skies, we need to do some exploring, and there's plenty of resources that we cannot get from the confined area that we have been staying in for a while. So that is number one on the list. Uh, I do have some bolas right down here. If you don't know what that is, this is what it is. It's like rocks and uh, a small string or a rope. Uh, and then you throw it, and it wraps around the legs of small dinos, and for a Pteranodon, it will disable them from flying, and they'll be stuck on the ground. And this way, we can use our narcotics, which are right here. Uh, I've been making a ton of them, so we should be 100% fine on the narcotics. Wow, that's really annoying, the fact that there's one. Um, actually, I do have some... Tr actually, I won't even need this much. I'm only going to bring, like, 100 with me. Uh, the 20 Trank Arrows should be fine for a Pteranodon. They don't take many Trank Arrows. So I'm going to look around real quick. Hopefully we can find one in our small area. And we'll see if we can tame it. We definitely got to get some crystal, like, right away. I really need a Spyglass. We have not had a Spyglass this game. That's, like, an emergency. Uh, and then we really got to explore, too. I think that's what we're going to do this episode, because we got a ton of map to explore. So yeah, I'm going to look around, and if I find anything, I will be back. Okay, guys, so I've been venturing around a little bit. I am up on the mountain. That's that's our house down... Okay, you see it right there? Those are our pillars down there. So I moved up the mountain. Uh, is there dangerous stuff here? That's a horse right there. Uh, I see some pteranodons here. I haven't looked at any levels yet. We're going to look at them together. Let's see. What is this guy? 
Level 90, that said. Level 90, not bad. That wouldn't be a terrible beginner. I was thinking maybe we tame a temporary guy, like regardless of level, and then use him to get a spyglass and find a higher level one, maybe. So we get like two tames in uh, this episode. Do you really not want to come down here? Am I going to have to bully you? And I'm going to miss like six of them because you're high up in the air. Okay, wait, let's see. Is he going to come down? Nope, he's flying back up. Okay, so let's just make sure we keep track of our 90. Okay, he's coming down. Okay, I won't have to. You can land. Uh, what does that say? What does that say? I have no clue what that said. All right, wait. We're going to bowl him. Boom. Oh, my God. I missed by an inch. I'm such a noob. I'm going to miss again. No, nope, come on. <gasps> wow. What did I tell you? It's, like, impossible to hit them unless they're on the ground. All right, wait. He's going to land again. What do you say? 25. Wow. I just wasted two bolos on a 25. All right, so we know our 90s down there. Let's just see. That's the castle up there. We're actually doing a little bit of exploring on foot at the moment. There's another Pteranodon. Uh, if, if he's close, actually, wait. Let's just run to this guy. I can't tell if he's far or not. Looks like he's pretty close, right? Yeah, he's, like, right above us. Let's get up on this hill. Can we see anything else, maybe? Can I can I get up on this hill, maybe? Uh-oh. There's a Rex over there. Do I have a parachute? That is one parachute, right? Yes. Okay. Guys, what I use the parachute for is if we get in a bad situation, I run to the edge since we're, like, right next to a mountain. I just run off the cliff and open up my parachute, and then I just safely land at our base. Okay, we got two guys right here. Uh, all right, let's see if we can get one of these guys to the ground. Wait up, wait up, I can't follow you. Come on. Where's he at? Where did he go? Hello? Disappearing Pteranodon? Oh, he's in the rock. Oh, oh, watch this, watch this. <gasps> How did, okay, yes, we got him. Uh, what level? 95. Ooh. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I think I s relatively know where I am. We're gonna knock this guy out. Okay. We're gonna knock him out. Let's shoot him. Is he gonna get knocked out? Okay. One more. All right. One more. You're definitely gonna get knocked out from that. No way. Really? Maybe it's because I have a weak bow. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. There we go. All right. We're, we're gonna leave him here real quick. Do we know where we are? We're by that arch. We're like right under the castle. I will come back to this guy in a minute if we do not find a higher level one. Hopefully that Rex doesn't come to kill me. What is that? Is that a trike? I think that's a trike. Oh, that's a packy rhinoceros. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to see if we can go look at that other Tyrannon. Oh, wait. Actually, is he right here? He's right here. Okay, wait. Let's see if we can get him. Come on, I can't, I can't get up there. Oh, wait, can I? Hold on, hold on a second. He's gonna move. He's gonna move right when I get up here. Yep, typical. And there's no way I'm gonna hit that. Okay, I'll be right back when I see his level or if I find any more pteranodons. If we don't find a higher level, maybe we'll go tame that guy by the arch. All right, guys, so we're back with our temporary buddy over here. He is taming up. I looked at those other pteranodons. We did, is there one flying over me right now? I think that's one of the ones we looked at. Uh, so we looked at all of those, and I looked around some more. I could not find anything above 95. Unfortunately, I did find another 90, so two 90s and a 95. Not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. So what I think we're going to do is what I said before. This guy is just going to be our temporary flyer. We will bring him down, make him a saddle. We'll go get ourselves a spyglass with him, and then we will use him to look around for a higher level until we can find our ace pteranodon so i'm gonna chill here i will bring you back if anything crazy happens um but it looks like our friend the t-rex over there is keeping a nice get distance there was a bronto over here if you remember i led him to the t-rex uh which got him killed because he was shaking the ground and being really loud and annoying and stuff um so hopefully we'll be fine and i'll bring you back when this guy finishes taming three two one now 
All right, guys, and our Pteranodon is awake. He has been tamed. Awesome. Now we can take to the skies. Let's get that out of our way. Uh, we're going to leave him on follow. Actually, we're going to bring him with us. We do not have a saddle made up yet, so let's... Oh, jeez, he's fast. Let's run ourselves back home real quick. Oh, God. We're going right back to the T-Rex, actually. Actually, this wouldn't be a bad time to show you what I mean by the parachute. All right, here's what we're going to do. Here is what we're going to do. We are going to sprint right at the T-Rex. Uh, let's hope I don't die. Come on. Okay, don't kill us, don't kill us, don't kill us. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get away, get away, get away. Run. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He's not on. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. <laughs> He's not on passive. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Our temporary pteranodon. He's getting hits in. Oh, my God. Dang it. Is that him? That's not him. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> well, there goes the Pteranodon. Alright, guys. Well, we glided safely down the mountain, and I cried in sorrow for our fallen friend, the unnamed temporary Pteranodon. Very sad, very sad. Um... I swear I did not do that on purpose, guys. That was actually the biggest blunder in Ark Survival Evolved history. Uh, but I at least I showed you what I meant uh, with the parachute thing. When I'm not being an idiot and forgetting that my guy's on neutral, um, it does work very well. Like, you just sort of jump off, and since our thing is on the beach, our base, we just glide down the mountain right on top of our base and land down here. And actually, a wild pteranodon was flying over the base, and we saw that our turrets are working, and he is right here. He was flying over super fast, I guess something attacked him on the mountain, flying straight toward, like, darting towards the water, and our turrets literally knocked him out of the sky. It was actually pretty amazing. Uh, we'll have to, we'll have to do, like, another test or something, or have a battle where, like, ooh, we could actually lure that one, ooh, actually, we may want to tame him the 135 Rex, because he's 135. I don't know, either that, or if we find a higher level, we might bring him down here, uh, and, like, show off our turrets, and our base, and how well we can defend. Um, but anyway, that kind of sucks about the Pteranodon. I think I'm just gonna go off camera, find us another temporary guy, unless we can find a high level, because I really do need a spyglass and a way to find a high level guy. So, I think that's what I'll do. I'll be back, I'll go find this Pteranodon, I will come back when I've tamed a low-level guy, probably. He'll just be a temporary guy, so we can find our real ultra-epic Pteranodon tame. Alright, guys, so I have just tamed us a low-level Pteranodon. We've got some really dangerous stuff in this area right now. Oh, God. Okay, we're running. Oh, wait. Uh, passive? Here we go. We're gonna do what we failed before. We're gonna actually complete it. I just tamed this guy right up here. We're basically where we are before. He's level, I think, 22. There were Allosauruses that I was extremely afraid of. Look, there's there's one right there. That's the Alpha, I think. Um, but it's okay. We have tamed this guy. Is somebody chasing us? No, it looks like we're good. Okay, so let's make a run for it. Is he following us? He is. I can't even see the edge. And let's jump. There we go. Okay, we're pretty far from our base, but I think we should be able to glide. So this is what an actual successful jump off oh look and he's actually running towards us that's where the allosaurus is so that's what a successful parachute off the mountainside looks like if there was somebody chasing us like before it would work out very well uh there was actually a t-rex in this area before i think it was like up there or something hopefully he didn't make his way down to the base uh the base looks super nice anyway this is going to take me a little while to float down so i'll see you when i've touched down Safe and sound on the ground we are, and yes, I know that that rhymed, and no, it was not intended. Shut up. Um, anyway, we're on the, we're on the ground with our Pteranodon. Uh, he is level 22. I think I got the stuff to craft us a saddle, so let's do that real quick. Okay, we got that. Well, that's crafting. We've got one more ritual to do. Um... Here we go. If we look in here, I have finally crafted these. Wait. There's only four pieces right there. 
I totally thought I had all five pieces, but it's fine. I just went up and crafted our leggings. Uh, so let's grab all of these in our inventory. Let's go up here so we can do our ritual. Wow, guys, the base looks so good. Oh, my God. Just admiring it is, like, amazing. I love the, the like, outer thing we've got. And now that the plants are all, the plant species excerpts are all grown, uh, it looks really nice. Okay, ritual time. Bang. No. Do you not work? I have to, okay, I have to take them off. Wow. Very anticlimactic today. Bang. 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 And bang. Yes. Give me metal. Yes. Okay, so at some point, I'll probably color these. Right now, we're just going to leave it. It's been driving me nuts. Like, I died before going for uh, going for our low-level Pteranodon because I got assaulted by raptors and terror birds, and I had basically no protection other than this terrible bow, which we should probably get a crossbow soon, but whatever. I mean, I, I like the bow, but basically, I got destroyed. Um, so I think we're good now. We've got flak. Thank God. Now we can actually defend against an attack. Uh, okay, so we got our thing crafted up. Let's throw the saddle on him. Wait, is it a him or a her? Um, where do you see that again? Wait, I think you just look like this, right? Mel, yeah, it's a him. Okay. Um, so we've got Steve the Stego. I was thinking maybe because I actually really like this name... Maybe we'll make that, like, the theme for our dinosaurs. We'll do, like, a really plain name followed by, like, the dinosaur or something or, like, their characteristic. So because this guy is a temporary dino, I came up with something. Uh, change name. We've got... Tammy. T-A-M-M-Y. -M Wait, Tammy's your real name. Nope. We got Tony. There we go. Coming up with names on the fly. Tony the Temp. Tony the Temp. Because he is our temporary dino. There we go. How you doing, Tony? I'm actually afraid. I was I was about to shoot him, but then I stopped myself because he's such a low level. I'm going to kill him. Okay. Uh, it's turning nighttime. I don't really like to shoot at night. So we will wait till morning, and then we've got a bunch of things to do with Tony. We're going to go get ourselves some crystal for, for a spyglass, uh, and then we will go see if we can find ourselves a high-level pteranodon. So I will be back when the sun comes back up. Guys, I feel like I should be saying something majestic. The sun is coming up. The day is beginning. This feels like a really bad Disney movie. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, let's grab Tony. We have got our first thing to do. Can he carry me? No, of course he can. Awesome. Great start. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for your service, buddy. Um, what can we drop off? Let's throw out some stone. We won't be needing narcotics right now. Actually, I'm going to keep those on me in case we happen to run into a high-level pteranodon on the way. Okay, spoiled meat. We can throw that out. Um, you go in there, spoiled meat. Okay, we've got to be light enough at this point. Please? Dude, why are you so way down? I have, like, nothing on me. Oh, I do have a lot of arrows, actually. Okay, whatever. I think we're good to just go grab... I know of one spot on this map that has crystal. It's pretty close. Wow, he's so slow. Okay, I think the crystal is right over here. Oh, hey! Guys, first time in the air. Other than me jumping off of cliffs multiple times. The base looks so good from afar. Oh, my God. Amazing. I'm gonna run out of stamina over the water. That's gonna be our first experience with a bird. It is us drowning to death because I can't watch my stamina bar. Here we go. <gasps> oh my god. I actually cannot believe that just happened. I was kidding. I really didn't think- I thought I was gonna make it. And I literally- Oh, oh my god, that was- like, I just saved that by an inch. Okay. Let's regain stamina real quick. Alright. Uh, where is the crystal? I believe it is here, right? I think it's here. I remember. It's like, it's like the, the big arch after the T-Rex bones. Oh, <gasps> yes! Finally. Crystal. Okay. Please. Yes! Oh my god, he's not gonna be able to carry any of this. Ugh! Kill me. Okay, whatever. I might, I might just run home, to be honest, because we need crystal. 
The lack of crystals driving me nuts. Whoa, what's with these flowers? They're awesome. Can we trade Tony for one of these flowers? I will make that trade in a second. See you later, Tony. I'm grabbing some flowers, buddy. Okay. Enough dumb jokes. Can we craft a spyglass? I don't even know how to do that. Miscellaneous? Spyglass. What do we need? Wood. Okay. No wood around here. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set this guy to follow. There's absolutely no way he can carry me home. I'm way too heavy now. I guess I'll run or swim home. It's, it's honestly not that far, and it's the beach, so it's not bad. Do I have a parachute on me? I can't tell if that's a parachute or not. I think that means there's one, right? I don't even know. Is there a spot where I can jump down here? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna live. But I kinda wanna test it. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. If I he Tony's gonna kill me. Tony literally he just tried to murder me. Tony just tried to murder me. Dude, I get I named you the temp, but like, come on, man. You don't have to kill me for it. God. The nerf. Tony's gonna die, guys. I mark my words. As soon as we get a high level pteranodon, nobody's even gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Okay. I will see you back at base. I'm going to go run there. Land ho! This is why I have no friends. Okay, after making you watch that, I want you to leave. I want you to pack your bags and leave the channel right now and take Tony with you. I want none of him. Leave and take him with you. Okay, I'm done. I swear I'm done and I will never do anything that stupid again. I've rewatched it, and uh, <clears throat> I just threw up. Okay, anyway, um, so we've got our spyglass finally. We are literally the biggest noobs ever. I had black armor and three dino tames before I managed to get myself a spyglass. And the greatest base ever built or known to mankind. Let's not forget about that. Uh, but we have our spyglass, which means we are finally going to be able to go on the hunt for a high-level pteranodon. So I am going to get the ever-useless Tony. We are going to lift off into the sunset, and I am going to go searching around, hopefully uh, near our base, if we can find one, uh, for a high-level Pteranodon. And the max level is 150, so by high level, I mean probably 130 and up. Anywhere in that range would be a great tame. Uh, so I will go on the lookout, and I will be back if I see anything cool, or if I find a high-level Pteranodon, or if I want to give you an update. I don't know. Basically, we'll be back in a little bit. Hold the phone. Everybody, wait up. Wait up. I know I said I was coming back with an update, or a high-level, or blah, 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 but Tony had an idea. Yep, I know. Once in a lifetime, Tony actually had an idea that we're going to use, so high-five. Um, what we're gonna do is speed up this whole process. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. We're gonna speed up this whole process, so while I'm flying around looking for a pteranodon, you can join me in the adventure. Um, see if I get mauled by a raptor every time I land for stamina, or blah, blah, blah. Uh, basically, I just thought it would be a cool opportunity to bring you around. Maybe we'll see a little bit of the area around. And this way, I'm not, like, cutting every five seconds when I want to go do something. You're sort of still with me. Uh, so we will go do that. And when we have both found something together, then I will get back on.
Okay, guys, I don't know if you saw right there in our sped up adventure, but right at the end here, as we were flying around, we spotted a 150 Pteranodon. Oh, God, I hate those guys. See that guy right there? He's going to steal my narcotics, I guarantee it. In fact, let's throw those on him. There we go. Okay, we should be good now. Uh, all right, let's see if we can get this guy down. Let's bola him. Yes. Okay, come on. <gasps> oh, God, I have regular arrows. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Let's not kill this 150, please. Okay. Let's get him. There we go. Let's get him again. Let's get him again. Come on, baby, go down. Come on, go down. Yes, there we go. 150, unconscious. We are on our way to getting a perfect tame Pteranodon, and I'm stuck on his wing. Perfect. Okay, I'm off. All right, guys. So I think I'm just going to chill here. Hopefully, I don't even know what that guy's called. I think it's like an Ichthyornis, maybe. Uh, hopefully, we don't get attacked. This is a super safe area. Luckily, we're on the beach, and luckily, he was on the floor. So all around, pretty good circumstances here. I'm just going to chill over here, and we will be back when our friend is all tamed up. Three, two, one, and there we go. He's awake. Let's go, baby. All right, let's turn him off. Follow for a second. Let's take a quick look at our new Pteranodon. He is awake, everybody. He is alive. We did not have any trouble. I just sat here literally saying, hey, target practice, and then shooting at something far away the entire time. It was quite boring. Anyway. Uh, and Tony watched me the whole damn time, and he was target practice sometimes. Okay, um, so I haven't thought of a name yet. Is it male or female, actually? It's male. Okay, so it's another male. Uh, let's turn it on passive real quick. I believe I have everything needed to make it a saddle. There we go. We've got a saddle. Uh, we have a level up, too. Let's just throw that into Fortitude. If you don't know, by the way, Fortitude is for, like, first of all, it's to keep your torpor down, I believe, when you get stung or bitten or something by a poisonous thing that would knock you out, poisonous animal or dinosaur or whatever, and it also keeps you cool in the snow biome, or keeps you cool, keeps you warm in the snow biome, uh, and then the opposite, it also keeps you cool in the swamp or by lava or whatever, basically, it helps you, like, fend off against harsh temperature, and that's actually super helpful, because the snow biome is ridiculous. You die in, like, five seconds. It's really annoying. Uh, so I always make sure to pump a decent amount into Fortitude. I suggest if you are playing Ark, you do the same. Um, let's turn this guy to follow. I think we are good to fly home now. We did not have to go too far. You probably saw that in the sped-up journey that we had. We are right around the corner from our base. I believe this is, this is like our mountain that's in front of us. So I just went around here. Let's actually look at this guy's level. I wonder, I just wonder. Level 15, okay, we don't care. Oh, I think I saw that guy, actually. I don't know. Uh, yeah, see, so that's, that's our base right there. We've got, can we see it right now? I don't think we can see it, but I recognize. You probably recognize it too, this, this area right here. We've been here a couple times. This is right in front of our base. Uh, our base is right there right there if you see the pillars is there a guy behind us okay so let's go home it is turning night once again let's land over here let's get all our guys inside safe and sound for the night even though we don't really care if tony dies but whatever we need somebody to laugh at so we'll keep them safe okay so, this episode is turning out to be super long. We did what we need to do, though. We got our Pteranodon team. Please, guys, since I haven't come up with a name yet, in the comments section, leave me any suggestions for our Pteranodon's name. It would be super helpful. We can get maybe something good from one of you guys. Uh, but other than that, I think that is going to be it for the episode. Maybe next episode, I think we will take our new high-level Pteranodon around. We will go explore um, the Ragnarok map, see what cool things it has to offer. We have seen 
uh, that castle from from afar. We haven't really gone too close. We can see a lot of stuff from here, actually. We see, like, the, the dead biome. I don't even know what you call that. And the ice over there. Uh, but we haven't really got there. So hopefully we will do that next episode with our new Pteranodon. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time on Digital Universe.